Follow your heart. This one is written in C, but we are going to drop it down to G to make it a little more singable. It's not a difficult song to play, but it is a fairly complicated program on the keyboard, so you need to be very careful to play uh, the exact voicings that I'm demonstrating, and because of that I've also written out some short sheet music cues for you on these parts. Uh, the lowest part of the keyboard has a low string stacked with a piano, stacked with a chime, so you get this... Uh, that runs up to... those are... other than the A minor, that's the only... those are the only keys you'll use for this. And that for the bridge. So that runs up to the B, and then the C here, up through uh, about this E, is just the, the strings. Uh, Uh, oh, that's right, because we're doing it in G. I just played it in C. Uh, so in G, it's going to look like this. Uh, and then at this D, it's the same string continues, but it adds this kind of resonant element. And we do that so that we can do the first chorus. Follow your... the first chorus, you repeat that four times. For the second chorus, we're going to move up and, uh, well actually we're going to just stack a G on top of that, and so there's another element that adds, uh, several other elements that add at this G. So his first chorus is, second chorus and beyond is, Same thing with your left hand there. Uh, then the bridge, just to demonstrate that really quickly. By the way, on the recording, the bridge is a breakdown. We're actually going to lift the energy at the bridge and make it bigger. So you've just come from... You're going to move your right hand up an octave to A minor in root position and A minor in the left. that line twice and then you're just going to hit and hold this G4 right here so uh follow your heart help me follow your heart and the rest of the band is going to be building this as a crescendo underneath you for eight bars you're going to hold that, you're going to break right on, I gotta follow your heart. And then the chorus after that is the same as this chorus. Except you're going to just do it up an octave with your right hand for more energy. You're going to play that a couple of times until we get to the tag. Let my only prayer be your heart. completely sure how we're going to end that yet, so uh, music trainers may modify that some, we might pull the left hand out, we might change entirely what you're doing, but that's going to be our starting point. Uh, so one last thing, and that is, because of the piano and chime element in there, the way I'm going to suggest that you start the song is to turn the volume all the way down, press and hold that key and let it be about three to five seconds, and then... Actually, you need to push it and keep your finger on it because we're going to let off the pedal. But if you if you push it right away, that was really loud. You're going to get that chime and stuff, and we don't want that. So even if you fade it in too quickly, you've got that chime. So press it, count slowly to three or five.
and you're off into the song.